control. I feel like this person was taught to control their feelings, to control their emotions, to hold back their emotions, to not show their emotions. Um, I am picking up on masculine energy here. Of course, we do have the emperor, but I feel like this person associated emotions with weakness. This is common for masculine energy, very common. Um, but what's happening now is they are they have been triggered. Something has happened here. There may have been a decision that comes from, from you, or there may have been some type of awakening or something awakening to their own divinity. This person is like exploding right now. So all the feelings that they ever suppressed, it's all coming up to the surface. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to Turning Tides Tarot. My name is Alicia. Thank you so very much for being here with me. We are going to get a love reading today. <laughs> and we're gonna go and we're gonna, actually I'm just gonna see what's going on with your person. Okay, what's going on with them? How are they thinking, what they're feeling and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so this hopefully is somebody that you want to know about. Um, that's the intention that I'm putting into it. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to ring the bowl, call in spirit, and thank you very much for being here with me. Y'all are seriously the best. Here we go. Okay. I'm calling on spirit with so much love and so much gratitude. I ask for divine guidance as I interpret these messages. May they help us all on our journey towards our highest and greatest good. I'm asking for love, joy, peace, abundance, and protection for myself, for you, and for all beings on the planet at this time. Thank you so much, spirit. Okay, so uh, we're starting with um, emotions of how they're feeling, and we've got some crazy opposite stuff going on with your person okay um we have delighted i know it's backwards okay so it says delighted elated thrilled very happy so there's a part of them that's extremely happy and then they've got a part of them that's also upset angry and furious so we have this mad energy and i i, I have no idea what that's about so we're going to use the tarot and we're going to clarify um we're going to start with the good stuff okay we're going to start with the good stuff so what is going on with this person why are they so happy and then we'll find out why they're so mad too okay because i feel i don't i don't know i really don't know what's what's going on <laughs> They're happy about one thing and mad about another. So, um, okay, let's see. Happy, happy. They are happy to be moving on, moving forward, and looking towards the future. They're happy for peace and harmony within their life, perhaps within a connection with you. Maybe they feel like um, they've learned quite a bit and they're able to move forward, okay, currently. Um, um, or they've left something behind, right? That that was you know, that they learned a lot from a situation. They've left it behind. They are moving on. They are moving forward. Okay. So this is a really good thing. And this, they're excited about the future is basically what it is. What are, what are they seeing? Yeah. Strength. Okay. Wow. So they've definitely let something go that wasn't good for them. Okay. When we see strength, we know the devil was around somewhere and we know that it takes strength of will and courage you know, and compassion for the self and, and forgiveness of the self and others. Like it's a very, um, it is a very peaceful energy. We do have Leo vibe coming up. This is Leo season. Happy birthday, Leo. Uh, you could be a Leo or they could be a Leo or whatever the case. They could be Leo or have it in their chart. It doesn't have to be, but, um, they are feeling strong enough to move forward, move on. Okay. Perhaps they felt, um, that they were stuck in a situation or stuck. I don't know, because, you know, I don't know. I just feel like they've overcome a challenge and they're very happy with themselves. Okay. And they're feeling strong enough to move forward in their life and they are cutting off things that aren't good for them currently. Okay. Now, um, I, I do, I'm so curious about what they're mad about that. I'm just going to skip over there for a second and then we'll see, um, how this evolves here. Um, because I do feel like a very, like a strength and resolve and being just very happy and, and proud of themselves for moving 
on from something and we will try to find out what that something is but what is this mat it could be connected I feel like it could be connected to what they're moving away from um, and why they're upset and angry so please spirit whoa okay hold on I have no idea what that is Okay, well, we have the King of Cups here. So this is definitely an energy of being in their feelings. Okay, so your person is in their feelings, feeling upset, feeling angry. Yeah, we get that. Um, hmm. I feel like this person is, um, no, it's unusual that I would pick this up, but I feel very tearful energy. Like, you know, when you, have you ever been so upset that like and so because this is an anger feeling so there's frustration anger you know they're very this is a very mad feeling so they're really in this feeling um that you you cry you know but it's more like an angry cry like uh, this is a weird thing this is a weird thing angry cry angry why okay so we have the four of, four of pentacles that came up you know what I'm seeing is a release. Your person is releasing. There's a release here. Okay. I feel like um, something, I don't want to say trivial, but something has happened that has triggered your person. Um, and I feel like they can no longer hold back this emotion. Now, it, this is why I was getting tears. This is why I was getting tears. I feel like this person could be mad or angry with themselves for holding back their feelings, holding back their emotions. We have judgment. This person is feeling like there isn't another chance or there might not be another chance. I feel like this person's angry with themselves to be totally honest with you. I feel like what I'm picking up on, okay, is that this person is ready, is ready to move forward in their life. They're ready to, I feel like they've conquered um, either uh, a behavior pattern or a trauma uh, pattern. They've healed something here uh, within themselves uh, behaviorally. Uh, they may have let something go that wasn't good for them. They may have overcome an addiction, any kind of thing like this. They are now strong enough and willing to move forward and moving forward into in their lives on their journey on their path okay but they're also now it's like they had suppressed so many of their feelings that it's like it's all coming up to the surface right now it's all being expressed and i feel like they are angry with themselves for holding back these feelings for so long um again I, i'm picking up on um like this person is really trying to tap in to forgive themselves, but I feel like they're mad at themselves. I feel like, you know, they're trying their best to, to, to soothe themselves right now. Okay. Because there's something here that has, there's been some type of final stamp. There's been a judgment. There's been a final call. There's been a wake up call. There's been an awakening, something like this person has is now seeing something very clearly. And I feel like it has to do with their behavior in regards to this connection in regards to perhaps how they have treated you or withheld their, um, their feelings from you in the past. Okay. This is kind of what I'm picking up here. Right. So let's go back to, um, I, I, I just want to go back to, I want to know what the awakening is. I want to know what the awakening is. We have the emperor. I feel like this person is awakening to their own divinity. Okay. I feel like this person is awakening to the depth of this connection here. And I feel like they're awakening to their own power. What I'm getting, it's a little bit specific, actually. What I'm picking up from this emperor energy, this awakening I'm picking up that this person you were dealing with here um, didn't understand. Like, they knew there is so much to this person. I'm going to try to unpack it. Okay. In the past, I don't feel like this person under truly understood their own power. I do feel like 
it, and this could be deep past for them. This could be somebody who was under someone's control for quite a long time, someone else's control. Um, and I feel like they would have projected their need for control. Um, when somebody feels like they're out of control or someone, you know, like they don't have control in their own lives, they often show up to, they, they try to dominate others, okay, to like regain that sense of having control in their life. This is what I'm trying to explain here. This is what I'm picking up from this person. You, they also try to control themselves as well. Like yeah, this person, it's, it, for whatever reason, it feels like a lot about control control. I feel like this person was taught to control their feelings, to control their emotions, to hold back their emotions, to not show their emotions. Um, I am picking up on masculine energy here. Of course, we do have the emperor, but I feel like this person associated emotions with weakness. This is common for masculine energy, very common. Um, but what's happening now is they are they have been triggered. Something has happened here. There may have been a decision that comes from, from you, or there may have been some type of awakening or something awakening to their own divinity. This person is like exploding right now. So all the feelings that they ever suppressed, it's all coming up to the surface. Okay. It's all coming up to the surface. I feel like, you know, you can't, I, you can only stuff so much down, right? And before it explodes, like it, this is, I feel like there's an explosion happening and it's triggered by something that made them angry. Okay. Something that made them angry, something that made them upset. But again, I do feel like a lot of this anger and upset, like I feel like they're punishing themselves or, or mad at themselves here. Oh my gosh. There's two, like I said, there's two kind of different energies. Um, because, oh yeah, we've got a decision that's been made with the two of pentacles. I feel like this person's trying to take control back of their life. We have the Knight of Pentacles. There has been Page of Pentacles reverse. Look, this person was holding back, communicating or any movement forward um, in this connection with you. I feel like they were holding themselves back on purpose for fear of losing control of themselves. Okay, we've got that. This person, this person does not want to seem um it's crazy. I'm picking up so much energy with them. They don't want to seem weak, but they 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 have love. They have love. They're happy. They want to move forward with you. They love you. But they have this pattern. Okay, they are trying to overcome this pattern of behavior of holding back because they're getting mad at themselves. I feel like they're mad at themselves for the way they've come off or the the way that you've seen them. It's 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 created a uh, a situation here that currently isn't working between the two of you and they they know that. They know that. My deck was upside down. It's not working. It's like they want to put the work in now. They want to come forward with this offer now, but they understand what it's flipped over. They understand the yeah, act tower. There's been a sudden shift and a sudden realization within this person when it comes to you and this connection, okay? Um, they did hold back their love. They did it on purpose. They did it on purpose. They did not want anyone. This person is highly independent. Okay. They are, they have experienced a loss of control in their past. I already said that, but it's like, they are so driven by being in control, being composed, being not ever knowing what they're feeling, being like a hard rock, you know? <laughs> I just heard like, oh, Lauren Hill, don't be a hard rock when you really are a gem. This person's coming to the realization that they're a gem. Okay. No, I, I was just saying like, there's something inside of them. They, they're coming into connection with their, their own divinity. Okay. I do feel like that their own divinity. Um, I, I, this person's going through a major awakening, a major awakening. Okay. And I feel like what's going on with them is like, uh, they could be experiencing a series of tower moments right now. And this is where this, uh, again, where this, trigger comes in they're getting mad because shit's not working out for them or things keep breaking down or something you know and it's like i feel like because they have held back their emotions for so long and it's not just about you and the connection i mean just in general they just they just don't they just they're calm they're cool they're collected that's it you know they're like a freaking gray rock you know there's nothing 
They feel like if they show emotion, then people can manipulate them or control them in some type of way. So they've got, they have had this very distorted way of looking at um, love, relationships, emotions, all of these things. Okay. I, I mean, like, I feel like I wanted to say since birth. Okay. It's been a, this person is, has been trained to be hard, you know, hard as, and that any kind of soft or kind, kindness or warmth and we know that's weakness, right? It is not. Uh, the people who feel their emotions and who are able to actually sit with them, that is the strength that is, you know, <laughs> they're strong enough to actually feel this. So I'm not saying this person's not strong. They are. They're just hard. They're hard, okay? Um, they want to be tough. You know, they want to look tough, right? But, it's, okay, so they've been suppressing everything. They've been suppressing their emotions for so freaking long. And spirit wants them to awaken. Spirit wants something to happen. Spirit wants something to change within this person, okay? So what spirit's serving them is tower after tower after tower after tower. Things breaking down. Things not working out. Things not lining up. Plans going awry. All this kind of stuff that's like... It's it's stirring the pot within them and it's all bubbling up to the surface and it's all coming out at once. There's like an explosion of emotion here. And your person or this person is is upset. They're they're so upset. <laughs> they're upset that it's happening. They're upset they can't control it. They're upset that this it's like they're mad that they they're losing it. They're 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 literally on the edge of freaking losing it. Okay. Okay. <sighs> They're also mad at themselves because they understand that they may have lost, they, they may have lost you because of this withholding energy. They may really have lost you. Okay. I could see, I mean, I kind of get that, right? Like, so how can you, it's not a two-way thing, right? If somebody's holding back their emotions, you know, you're not getting what you need out of it, <laughs> out of a connection. Okay. Out of dealing with this person, it would be um, insanely frustrating. It would be heartbreaking. It would be, you know... It would just not be um, necessarily a healthy situation. And, and I feel like you know that, right? But I now, okay, so now that I've gone into this angry energy, okay. I feel like a lot of breakdowns going on in their life. But there's then, then there's that happy, delighted energy. Like, what is going on? This person's like... They're freaking all over the place. Okay, we have the Six of Pentacles. What this is doing is I feel like they're starting to see they are having this awakening. And I feel like through all this series of like insane events happening to this person, they are starting to see how perhaps um, they're withdrawn energy and only giving you just a little bit of time, a little bit of energy, a little bit of like breadcrumbs, you know, and and keeping to themselves and not nurturing and growing this connection. I, I just feel like they're starting to see the error of their ways, right? And again, that's kind of perpetuating a little bit more of this angry feeling that they're having towards themselves. Now, going back to the delighted thing, I, I do feel like they're at least, it's like a whirlwind of emotions right now. This person's going through it, but I do feel like, um, here's justice, yeah. There's this part of them here, okay, with the Eight of Pentacles, we have justice, we had, you know, the page, the Knight of Pentacles, all this stuff. I do feel like what's making them happy is like I they feel like they're able to conquer this. Okay, they're able to they're able to conquer. They're able now that they see their pattern, see the behavior, see the error of their ways, see how holding things back isn't getting them anywhere. It's only like um I don't know. They're starting to relate the bad things that are going on in their life, you know, with the fact that they're holding themselves back constantly so it's like the more they hold themselves back in all areas of their life just the more they hold their emotion back the more they the more frustrated the energy becomes the more spirit puts obstacles in their way and they're starting to see it's like well it's like they're it's like they're fighting and it's so funny i said this in another reading and y'all have been letting me know what the word is but yes it's like they're fighting the current okay they're fighting a current they're going against a current in their own life they're fighting the flow they're doing things the hard way you know like the hard <laughs> they're doing things the hard way uh, things could be very easy and i feel like they're starting to see that if they were to sit in this emotion or express emotion or incorporate 
allow themselves to to because they feel things they do but they push them down right so allow those feelings to come out to express those feelings to um uh, to understand that that's not you know i don't know i feel like they're starting to understand that it like energy when you compress energy right it's going to right it's just it, i just feel like their life is blowing apart in some sense or another okay now on the surface it probably looks fine you know everything looks fine they may be presenting a very stable strong image here as this emperor energy you know everything's good everything's fine i've got everything in control but internally their shit is all over the place and <laughs> it really truly is now um they are happy okay there's part of them that's happy though because they do see a future they know they can move on from this okay so this is kind of what it is it's like this person is having these like major awakenings towers judgment you know i feel like they're being served lesson after lesson after lesson and they're getting it i feel like this person is totally getting it um and i do feel like they are like the reason why i say i think they're getting it is because we have strength coming out here okay so and the six of swords which speaks to moving forward having learned some lessons difficult lessons and wanting to move into a space of peace so they're seeing a way out they may have been going through this energy for quite some time it may not be something that started happening yesterday you know i just feel like it's it's wanting to come up to be acknowledged here that now it's like now they are here wanting to bring justice into the connection here wanting to work on things Wanting to work on things here, wanting to make things right, fair, wanting to come forward in a, um, a much more stable way. I feel like this person's very takes everything in their life very seriously. Um, I don't feel like, you know, I mean, I'm sure they might have a silly or a goofy side to them or something, or they they're capable of having fun, but they are extremely serious all around we have virgo energy aries energy libra we've got all the signs here we have leo those are just the majors that i'm seeing here okay i want to see because now it's like they want to come forward with something and offer something to you and work on this this is what i'm getting like they they know they know how their energy their patterns they know how it's affected this connection again you may have um i mean i don't know wow i was gonna say you may have um i don't know walked away given up let it go you, i mean i don't know i don't know where you're at with this um connection but i'll tell you this much i was like ask what they're wanting to come forward with and this is the ace of pentacles and the um four of wands i just split the deck right to that after shuffling so this is like, and I can see, I can see the progression here. Okay. So they're wanting to work on this. They're wanting to make things right and fair and bring an offer to you. First, they want to communicate about it, right? And they're going to bring it forth, right? And then they're like, ah, oh, here we go. I'm ready to give this away. You know, here, what? That's that golden offer, right? That's that start of a new beginning. That's that, um, not just a new beginning, but in, in, in partnership and in love, it's stability, it's longevity, it's commitment, it's the beginning of a life partnership, okay? When you get that, and especially when it's paired with the uh, four of wands here, okay? So they're, they're wanting to come together. They're wanting union, reunion, something like that. They're wanting another chance um, with you. But I do feel like they have been going through some, like, they have gained some wisdom. They've learned some lessons here because otherwise we wouldn't be seeing, like, we wouldn't be seeing judgment. We wouldn't be seeing the hermit strength justice you know this a lot of really strong energy here on the table for this person and it's like wow even underneath the deck it's like i feel like part of them they're they're really angry at themselves because they understand that they've rejected a, a blessing from spirit okay this is soulmate twin flame type energy it really truly is i can see this with the four um six of cups here and the lovers okay a divinely uh guided a blessing out of a soulmate i don't know basically they feel like they squandered their blessing because they were in that energy of holding themselves back not engaging being hard being tough i don't need love i don't need a connection i don't need like i don't need you i don't need anyone i don't need anything it's like i don't know I don't know it's like it's like they understand now they can see that and that's why they're mad at themselves they can see that they've basically i feel like they've they've they basically it was like oh you want to give me something amazing i don't need amazing 
<laughs> I don't need awesome in my life. I don't need freaking love. I don't need, like, I don't know. It's just, again, going, taking the, the path of the most resistance, like fighting against the current, that kind of thing. Um, now they are, there's, okay, so I feel like they're calming down. I feel like they are coming down. Okay, I do. I really do feel like they're coming down here because they're ready to make something happen. They're ready to put the work in, I'm seeing. I mean, whether or not they're actually going to do that. I mean, I'm going to put all this energy back in the deck. I don't know why I'm doing this right now, but I, I'm going to put it all back in and I'm going to shuffle and I'm going to see, are they going to take any action towards you? Like, or is they just sitting there? You know, I mean, it, it's kind of good if they're sitting there in their feelings. It's a good thing, um, but are they going to share this with you? And I feel like this is what the question is because that's all well and good. Great. They're going through it. You know, a spirit's putting them through the ringer in a sense where it's all exploding in their lives right now. But it is something that's like they are taking it in. They are learning. They are seeing. I don't feel like this person is stupid, um, you know, but stubborn. <laughs> They're not stupid, but they could be stubborn, okay? Um, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I hope this is making sense for someone. Let's see. Are they going to um, communicate? Are they going to communicate? Like, it's all well and good that they want to or they're learning and stuff like that. But what are the next steps? Are they going to communicate? Please, Spirit. Are they going to communicate? Is this person going to communicate? We have the King of Pentacles in the reverse came up. I would say not yet. Yeah, not yet. Look at that. We have the Nine of Swords and the King of Pentacles in reverse. They're not quite ready yet. Um, they are feeling quite vulnerable and feeling quite afraid. They are currently battling this energy right now. So we asked at the beginning of this reading what is going on with your person. That's what's going on with your person. It's like a freaking whirlwind happening within um, them currently. Okay. Currently, that's what's going on. They are fighting off their fears. Look, strength came right back out. What else here? The devil. Oh, my whenever we see strength devils around so they're still currently fighting off their fears they are not feeling um capable just yet they aren't i mean like they, they feel like they can they see like at the beginning of the reading it was like they're moving forward they're looking into the future they're learning lessons yes but they're not quite there yet they haven't quite completely conquered um you know whatever that beast within right whatever that devil represents for this person um again i feel like it has something to do with holding their emotions trying to control themselves control the situation control their life control 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 spirit basically is like what's happening is spirit is showing them how little control that they do have okay by putting them in situations where they have no control over like let's say um i don't know i can't even think of anything right now no control over maybe they get um into a collision or something like that no i don't want to wish that on anyone i'm saying like whatever fender bender whatever maybe something happens like that or maybe um Maybe they're about to take a train or a plane and, and everything gets canceled or blah, 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 blah. Something out of their control, you know, that they can't do anything about. So it's like a series of events that's happening like that to them that's making them like, it, it's, they're losing it. They're losing it. And all of these feelings that they've pressed down um, because of the anger, because of the upset, because of the frustration, they're all flooding to the surface. It's, it's like the freaking floodgates. So this person, again, they're in this mode where they're trying, they're in a freaking whirlwind right now. Okay, they are. Okay, we have the nine of cups underneath the deck here. Um, and the tower. Yeah, everything that oh my gosh. It's like everything that they they've been wishing for, everything that they've they thought. Okay, sometimes the nine of cups, y'all, and I know we don't talk about it a lot, but it can be like a smug, arrogant freaking energy. It really can be. And this is what it is. Like, look at me, I've got everything I need, I've got everything and more. Um, it can be like gluttony, like, you know, like an ego and smug, right? Like some, look what I got, look what I built. There's the, there's being proud of yourself and feeling happy and emotionally fulfilled. And then there's like being a dick about it. Okay. Now I feel like this person was kind of like that. Like my life is great. I don't need anyone. I don't need you. I don't need spirit. I don't need, I've got control. I've got everything. Everything's great. Fine. I'm, I'm the best. Like look at everything I have and that shit's falling apart. Spirit's coming in and be like, hmm. Oh no, no. Oh no, no, no. You're gonna learn today. <laughs> You're gonna learn today. Okay. And I do feel like it is something to do with you, um, in a way, because like 
when we saw justice come out, things were highly unfair, right? Things have been unfair. Um, they obviously, and I don't feel like you're the only one, and I don't want to say this, but you're not the only one in this person's life. Now, it doesn't have to be romantic, not romantic. Just, you're not the only one who this person, uh, they may have been just like a straight up taker, you know, uh, never receiving even like emotional support and things like that. Not just like material things or goods, time, energy. You know, they would be somebody who was like, you know, I, I receive, I don't give people chase me. I don't chase them. Like, uh, very, very much, you know, I'm in control of the situation. I, people tell me that they love me, but I won't tell them that I love them. That gives them power over me. Like this person, it needs help. And currently, um, spirit is working with them by shutting down things in their life. Like tower after tower yeah after that there will be a new beginning here with this person i don't want you to like i, I don't know where you're at with this person but i do know that there will be uh, a, a chance for them to get like a redo a start over the, the spirits wiping the slate clean with this person and that's what happens with the tower it's like what you thought you had sometimes the tower comes it blasts it all down but you learn you learn a lesson and it is better in hindsight always it's always for your grace and the highest good um but spirits basically breaking them down and i always think bringing them down to like rubble you know like if you if you feel like a if you see a building like bricks or whatever and then it falls down falls apart and then it just turns to like dust and then you know the spirits working with you to rebuild that tower right to rebuild your life starting from scratch right from the dust right like <laughs> starting right from the dust and it it's going to put this person in a position where they're gonna they can operate in a much different way and they will be humbled is what i'm hearing here this person will be humbled here okay and i feel like they're yeah that's what it is spirits humbling them right now okay that's what's going on with them i don't really even need to take oracles or anything else that's it um just know that spirit is working with your person okay or this person i don't know if they're your person or not but not anymore maybe i mean like yeah, yeah kind of feels like a little bit of karma but also it's it's for their greatest and highest good so that's what's going on with them today. All right. So sending you lots of love. Um, yeah, that's the message. Thanks for being here. Y'all are seriously the best. Um, yeah. Bye.